Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about op open item management in SAP FISO. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Please like and share this video. Share the knowledge. Sharing is caring. Now let us start. So in this video, we will learn about open item management in SAP FICO. We will cover the following points. So first, we will create a provision for salary account. This is a liability account. So to create a general ledger account, transaction code is FS00. So here I will put FS00, press enter. This is a liability account. So we have already create our liability account. So I will select that account and right click it and select copy. Change that GL account number. Okay. So this is a liability account. So we will add our required short text that is provision for salary. This is our provision for salary account. Okay. This is a balance sheet account. And in control data, remove the tick on uh, only balances in local currency. And here we have to tick on open item management because this is a provision for salary account and this is an open item management. It requires open item management. Okay. So we have to remove the tick from only balances in local currency and we have to select open item management all the other yeah fee status group will remain the same now we will save the record we will save the, our general ledger so we have create a provision for salary gl account this is a expense account oh sorry this is a liability account okay Now we will maintain our number range for KZ document type. Okay, so to create a document type number range slash n OBA7. OBA7 is a transaction code. Press enter. Yeah, slash n OBA7. Press enter. Now in this step, we will create a number range for our kz document type okay so this is our document type kz for vendor payment select the line yes now we have to create a number range for this so click on the number range information here we have to put our company code click on change intervals insert interval number give year in from year select the number range 4001 to say 5000 okay and now save the record so we have created a number range for our document type kz continue save record is save the changes were shown okay so this is a second step now in this step we'll create a tolerance group for our company the uh, transaction code is oba0 so here we'll put slash n slash n oba0 ob yeah, sorry slash slash n OBA0. Okay. Press enter. Now, in this uh, transaction code, we will create a tolerance for our company code. Okay. So, click on the new entries. So, right now, we will uh, give our company code and I will save the record. continue 
now we will use transaction code f-02 and we'll post the salary account debit to provision for salary account so here slash n f-02 press enter okay here view the document date document type will be is a okay press enter specify account number here we have to give a account number that is salary account okay so salary account debit to provision for salary account so here salary paid account or salary account debit okay press enter give amount salary. next line item will be 50 line item that is credit credit entry for provision for salary account okay credit entry for provision for salary account so click on the find button press enter provision for salary account okay now save the record Amount for second line text here plus center and save the record. Okay, so document seven was posted in our company code. Okay, now we'll check uh, line item balance in FBL 3N. So here I will put slash n FBL 3N press enter now this is our uh, provision for salary account click on execute so this is a red mark that is open item so we have post the entry salary account debit to provision for salary account so right now the status for this uh, provision for salary account is this item is open this is not yet cleared okay so because of that this is a red mark over here okay now we will uh, now we will post a payment in f-07 so here we will put uh, slash n slash n f-07 press enter yes uh, so we have to give document date okay here in bank data we have to give a bank account number okay so we can find or yes press enter our bank account number is gl account number is one so select one okay now here in open item selection okay we have to give account number for provision for salary account okay so here I will give provision for salary account GL number. Okay, that's fine. We have to give amount over here. Okay, ten thousand. Now click on process open items. Okay. So my system is little bit slow. So please bear with me so now this is a screen for post uh, outgoing payment process open items so we have to check the amount enter so one items uh, were selected okay now we will post okay control plus s that is post so we have post our transaction so document 4001 was posted then now again we will check the line item balance in slash n fbl 3n so here put slash n fbl 3n actually fbl 3n is a uh, transaction code i will here put slash n fbl 3n press enter okay this is a gl account for provision for salary account previously there were was a red sign now we will check so click on the execute Oh, there is no open items okay so 
the status is open items so i will select all items okay now click on execute now yes now there is a green tick means that means we have paused the account that means we have paused the entry okay and if you have any suggestions regarding this video or queries please feel free to comment and uh, again don't forget to subscribe to our my support solutions youtube channel keep in touch thanks for watching and bye bye